Hili kola phone Tanzania na waje leta ndio hiki tamu karibuni hapa ni Malawi Ah asante sana So I don't know whether I should continue in Kiswahili because the chair understands it <laughs> But um I will begin with a light note I think as uh, parliamentarians and some of us being speakers we should learn from the chair the style that is using being attentive to every other presentation and having ha- uh, having to make a, co- a comments on every other other uh, presentation so that's a good thing I would also like to agree uh, with the rest of the comments that have been made because in the interest of time I will talk about Tanzania a little later in the few minutes that have been given but I was asking myself as we are discussing here about the sustainability efficiency self sufficiency in the Sadek region and then I heard from one of the presenters talking about Malawi using the renewable uh, energy uh, sources and then my question is and I hope they'll have time to respond what is the percentage of the population in Malawi that has access to electricity for a, because it was presented in a very uh, good way so I would really like to learn and then see if if it's working in Malawi definitely everybody else should be able to do that and i think it's important for all our countries to have that sense of how many people in our respective countries have access to electricity it's important because when we meet in these uh, big uh, gatherings it's so easy to explain you know the projects and programs in our respective countries but i must commend the uh, lady from madagascar the deputy speaker she spoke about the challenges that the entire country of madagascar is going through and so it's easier once you admit the challenges that are going on in our countries now i'm saying all that because of the this topic we are talking about sustainability if the majority of of uh, the population in our respective countries don't have access to energy at all to electricity at all and then we we'll, we are discussing about sustainability what are we sustaining they don't have that power and we are talking about clean energy they don't even have that dirty energy so <laughs> you know so we have we have to be realistic we have to be realistic it's true we talk about climate change we talk about the fact that it is our responsibility to ensure that we protect the globe yes it is true but when you consider that most of the sadek countries we are still in the dark maybe we should look at, we should be looking at solutions that are going to give our people access first and then start from there cleaning up whatever is dirty and i had here <laughs> we are talking about we are talking about women and the fact that they use firewood they use charcoal i mean i was looking at the statistics from the presentation here from the look of things Tanzania we are using LPG at 4% what about the rest of the country and I, i'm not going to you know speak in this meeting like Tanzania is doing so well no we have plans to move but we haven't really started so to speak because if you're talking about 4% that's very low but even us now as the elite as the, the leaders in those countries What do we use in our houses? Don't we use charcoal? What are our families using? You know, we can't We have to lead by example if that's what we are saying. And I was looking here at the load shedding some of our countries have developed so much that the load shedding is actually put on the internet so that the uh, 
so that our citizens can actually go to the internet and see when they will actually have power. And we are talking about sustainability. What is it that we are sustaining? We should, we should, have the, we should look at the practical solutions for our countries instead of looking at what others are saying in other places outside SADC where they already had power for a long time and they have used a similar method that they are now preventing us from using. I don't think we should buy into that. But now <laughs> my time is running. Now back to Tanzania. We are making some progress. Uh, recently we signed the first government agreement in order to develop our uh, liquefied uh, natural gas projects. So we, we hope, because in the presentation it came out very clearly that Tanzania is supposed to participate in the, in the bucket, so to speak, for the energy in SADC. We will do that and we are in the, in the process of doing that. But we also have a huge project and I, I sympathize with our colleague from DRC Congo and I hope things will work out in order to use the, uh, the Congo River. Now, in, our, in my own country, we have a large, uh, a large project to develop power, which is the Julius Nyerere Hydropower Project. It's going to produce 2,115 megawatts once it's completed, and we hope that is going to be completed in 2024. Uh, so we hope... Uh, part of that energy that will not be used in the country can go to some of the Sade countries that will need it. Now, because I talked about statistics from our own countries, in my own country we have, we have had, because our country is big, we have had to establish a rural uh, electrification agent, which is rural energy agent, just for rural to ensure that the villagers have electricity. And in that plan, we are hoping by the end of this year, electricity would have reached every village in Tanzania. So when we, when we talk about sustainability, we should use what we have. If you have coal in the country, use that coal until your people have power, and then we can talk later about cleaning up that coal. That's my way of looking at it. Instead of stopping a person or a country from using coal because some people somewhere have got power, which they're using nuclear or they're using water, whatever. So, <laughs> so in, the, in the interest of time, I would say in SADC, I think if we are going to talk about this topic, we should use the resources that we have in our countries. And nobody should stop us from using it because somewhere, somehow, people have studied something. Yes, we understand science. We agree to those researches, but we will reach there when it's our time to reach there. Thank you very much.